We are just before Easter time, sitting at the Greek Orthodox Church, inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And we will walk through different kind of domination, domination uh, Christian domination, to show you that the church of the Sepulchre, the Sepulchre of the church, that the place that Jesus was crucified, died, buried, and resurrected, belonged to so many of them. And I will do it today with the help of David uh, Yar, um, Youngen, he dedicated the Bible with a cross, with a wooden uh, cover, and the Lord's Prayer to, um, to his wife. And, and this, is, this is magic. Christy, it's a present. I hope that it's going to be a surprise for you. Then your Bible will travel with me. I mean, bless with me at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And let's see what will actually happen with it. Then we are now at the Greek Orthodox Church, and that church belongs to the Greek, the Catholic, and the Armenian, but the, the rest has got a lot of uh, right as well here. Um, you can see the wall of icons that's separating the holy part of the church than the disciple part. In the Greek Orthodox Church, people are standing, they're not sitting. And you can see Jerusalem in heaven above you. Look at beautiful is that chandelier. But the most important thing here is, is that. This is, according to the Greek Orthodox, the center of the world. And we are walking around it. And in front of you is not less than the tomb of Jesus, according to most of the Christians. And what you see here is a decular structure of, of it that um, was the, um, wasn't from the time of Jesus. Uh, the decular is from the 19th century, but it's been destroyed. I mean, that church has been destroyed so many times that uh, the site is what is actually important. And Christy and David, I already visited the tomb earlier and the Greek uh, and the Calvary, mainly because what you see uh, lately, I uh, did it early, early morning, together with some other crosses that I blessed to avoid it, to avoid the, the crowd, and I wanted everyone, uh, every item that I'm actually buying for you to be blessed in the holy, holy of the holy. But I will bless it together in other places. For example, this is a Catholic section, being in the Greek Orthodox, and in the Catholic section, um, that one, Mary, met Jesus. And this is from the 15th station of the cross. And I'm blessing it here as well. I will enter to the Catholic Chapel. I won't be able to talk there, but I want to bless it as well. tomb is more than just a tomb because he actually resurrected and we are standing in the place that Mary Magdalene saw him. Christy, I'm happy for you. Look how beautiful it is. I see, it's amazing. Mainly because of the light of the sun. They are renovating the floor now and then a lot of the a lot of sections are closed. Let me see if you can see something from there. Not a lot. 
they are working there, but as you can see, uh, I cannot even see a bit of it. Sad, isn't it? I wanted to see it. I know that they are taking every star and everything in here. Look at the city, look at, them, look at how bad it looks like. And they are excavated beneath. Um, I don't know how it's going to be look later on. How they're going to bring back the old ancient stones from the Crusader time to, uh, to here, or I don't know. Then we will have to wait and see. If we are talking about different denomination uh, in the church, this is the Cyrillic church. Another tour guide, so it's still uh, good to see the tourists here. And I'm here split into two. I don't know what to do. I don't know what my future will take me to do. I have to deal with it. Should I go back to be a tour guide and then it will have less videos? Or should I keep on doing what I love to do right now? And uh, I'm showing you uh, the Holy Land and blessing the things and supporting and supported by you. I really don't know what is good. I'm trying to do that and that, but um, I don't know. Then the ceramic church is in front of you. They have the back of the tomb. Jesus. The tomb is divided into two. You're looking at the, the tomb itself, I mean behind that. The inner, the first part, which is, you see the two holes, that is where the angel kept that no one will steal the body of Christ. And as I already said, I already blessed the Bible there. Um, and we are looking at the Armenian uh, chapel. And about that, I'm lighting candles twice a week, and I did it to you as well. Everyone who buy uh, the Bible or any other cross will have his own candle too. And we are living the Armenian place. The women were watching the Calvary from there, and we are climbing up to the to the Golgotha. But before that, remember, we are doing backward. He actually resurrected. And then buried, they prepare him to, to the burial site. Such an important place for me, because that's where the naked body of Jesus actually. Um, now we can climb up to the Calvary. Early morning, they cleaned the floor here. I mean, he did it so beautifully uh, for hours that we couldn't enter through there. We enter through the exit. But the good thing that they left the light like that, and you can see it beautifully. That's when they nail him to the cross. And that is the Pita. That's where Mary, who held the dead body of her son, See the spear in her heart. You can feel the agony of the mother. And because there's no line here, I will stay with you. I will, we will go um, again to bless the Bible. You can see here the bedrock. That belongs to the Greek Orthodox. John, Jesus, Mary at the other side. 
while Jesus was on the cross, he asked John to take care of his mother. Without that, she might not survive. We will enter to the exact spot of the crucifixion. Remember, Jesus was crucified with another two. One, two. Let's leave the Golgotha. Then we saw Armenian, Catholic, Syrianic Church, Armenian, Greek Orthodox. Let's go out of the church now and we can visit the Ethiopian. Ethiopian believes that they are a creation of Queen Shiva and King Salomon. And they have two chapels, two churches here. Just there. You can see our, our Ethiopian monk. Now we're going to climb up to the roof of the church, which is less touristic. You can see how many people are here. And we see the difference soon. And two Ethiopian churches. Christy, David. Bless you for that. Second church. Just like the Greek Orthodox, the church is divided into two. The inner part is called the Holy of the Holy, and they believe that uh, when the son of King Solomon and Queen Shiva came to here, he he uh, actually got the Ten Commandments, the Ark, Ark of the Covenant. Then in that case, uh, it's in the city of Aksum. Then every church is marking it. And here you can see the um, village of the Ethiopian monks. You can hear the Muazin that we actually surrounded with a lot of Muslims here. And it's time to pray. This is Ramadan time, and I'm taking that video kind of, let's say, a week before the Holy Week. Next Sunday will be Palm Sunday procession. Happy Easter! And for my Muslim friends that are watching the videos, uh, Ram, um, Ramadan Karim, Ramadan Karim, and for the Jewish people who are watching that video, Happy Passover. Jesus came for Passover, remember? Then we are leaving Ethiopia and we're entering to the 
um, Egyptian part of the church. second part of the tour will be a nice walk from here to Jaffa Gate. But on the way, we will actually see the ninth station of the cross. That's where Jesus fell for the third time, according to the Catholic. This is part of the unknown Via Dolorosa route. Then, because he didn't write me what he really want, I took the freedom to show you a little bit of, of, of the city. And Christy, this is, uh, this is your tour, but everyone who watch it, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you want to have your own Bible with an olive wood cover or any other cross, go into my... Uh, go to the description of the video and look for buy me a coffee link through there you can enjoy uh, everything you will know how to have it yes you will get it to your home yes that video is uh, uh, will be uploaded to YouTube then you can sh send it to all of your friends And yes, I'm happy to do that. You can hear the Muazins calling from, uh, from everywhere. Dan, this is the Muslim quarter. We are at the entrance to the Christian quarter. I hope that you can hear me. And the white dome there is the Jewish quarter. through the market now in Ramadan time they are still working which is amazing 30 days they're gonna fast sorry uh, no food no drinks and it's quite hot here I'm walking with a short sleeve t-shirt and still they're doing it I'm, I'm salute uh, the Muslims now Let's go through that market. Mainly because it's not a touristic market. It used to be one of the main roads from uh, 6th century. 2nd and 6th century. Part of the Cardo. Now it's a non touristic. Uh, oh, wow. That's new. That's lovely. He went to, uh, to pray, then that's how he closed his shop. You can see that he is not here. No, she is there. But some just left to, to pray 
and no one will enter to their shop because they're praying. It's, it's beautiful to see it. Oh, some are praying in their shop because ah, he just left to the mosque, to the actor mosque, praying. He did it too. They have excellent herbs. Oh, the smell is such an amazing smell. I'm hungry. But I'm respecting the Muslims. I won't drink and I won't eat the Muslim water in Ramadan time. David, Christy, this is yours. I need to remember where you are. Mm -hmm. Beautiful day. Yesterday it was quite hot here. You can continue straight, uh, but I decided to show you how to reach the Jaffa Gate. Here we are. Nick, this is David Street. Difficult to see the sights here. I was here early morning. It was closed, now it's full and open. It's so good to see the tourists. But it's uh, more crowded, more difficult to walk here. Excuse me, please. Excuse me, please. <laughs> Oh, the water is amazing. Summer is on. We're not expecting rain until the middle of uh, November. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Thank you. In David Street, you will see more uh, shops for tourists, which is not bad, it's different. Hey, Hey, It's so nice to see the uh, shops that are open. And for so many times there were no tourists and a lot of them couldn't enjoy the benefit of selling things uh, and support their families. Climbing up and up and up to the um, upper part of the city. Ah, and that is Jaffa Gate, and that's where King Herod built himself 
um, a palace and a fortress, mainly because you could see everything from there. You could control them. And we are so close to it. That is the Christian Quarter Street. From here, you could uh, reach um, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, but we uh, climbed up to the roof to show you a little bit more of it. Oh, such a beautiful place. If you do have some questions to ask me, don't hesitate. Use YouTube. Uh, or, best, or better, you can use my uh, professional Facebook and Instagram. You will find the links at, uh, at uh, the description of that video. And if you want to find it, send me a question and, and I will send you the link. And here we are, the upper part of the old city. You can see in front of you the walls of the city and the fortress. <laughs> fortress of King Herod. Uh, and not only King Herod to use it. Okay. Uh, he's working at the uh, Western Wall, the Wailing Wall. And I blessed him for Happy Passover now, although it's a, a week from now. And he asked me if I'm going to be there earlier, before the holiday. We we'll say yes, I believe yes. Then we're going to bless each other there. Then he saw Jews, Muslims, Christians. And the good thing is that everyone can live together. They just need to understand it. And then if they will understand it, it's going to be easy story for everyone. Josh, let me show you another Christian order, which is now Catholic, but it's the Greek Catholic Patriarch. It used to be a Greek Orthodox uh, converted to Catholic. Yeah, there it is. Uh, mo a lot of the uh, Christians in uh, Israel are part of that community. Java Gate. Now we can see that cars can enter. That's true from the 19th century when the uh, German Kaiser said, my wife are not going to walk. You, my dear Ottomans, will open part of it. And that how she died. She will enter the city riding a carriage. And from that moment, we do have lots of cars. And uh, just be careful when you are using it. Hello. Here it is, Jaffa Gate. Then that was part of the wall. I want you to see the wall from the other side. And then we will say goodbye. And I will continue my mission. You can see the wall from the 16th century. This is the western wall of the city, not of the temple, built by the Ottomans, but on, based on ancient walls. I didn't see that man that used the guitar now for two years. He's been here every day and waiting for the tourists to come. And here they come, here they are. Dan, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you need some um, uh, answers, to some questions, don't hesitate. Please ask me, I will try to help you with everything. Thank you very much. Bye bye. And Christy, David, thank you very much. 
the Lord's Prayer is the other side, and you will get that that book, that Bible, which includes the New and the Old Testament, to your house. Bye bye.